During the colder months, we sometimes become more aware of the sights and sounds in our own backyard. Here are 30 different bird vocalizations you might hear this winter if you live in eastern North America, with tips on how to remember them. Keep in mind that many of these vocalizations are variable, and birds have multiple different songs and calls. These are just a few common ones to listen for. The morning dove makes an iconic cooing noise that some people mistake for an owl. House sparrows can be found in urban areas and make chidik noises as well as cheap and chirrup sounds. These are very non-musical vocalizations. The house finch sings a warbling song made up of many shorter notes. European starlings make a series of noises including whistles, crackles, and squawking sounds that can be jumbled up. The American Tree Sparrow song sounds like a series of high whistles. Dark-eyed juncos sing a musical trill that almost has a flutter to it. Although American robins stay year-round in some places, many people still think of them as a springtime bird and one of their songs sounds like they're saying cheer up, cheer up, cheerily, or variations of that. The Northern Cardinal is a backyard favorite. One song to listen for sounds like cheer, 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 purdy, 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 purdy. Another one to listen for is one that sounds like what cheer, what cheer, 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 cheer. The white-throated sparrow song is one of the most recognizable sparrow vocalizations and sounds like it's saying, oh sweet Canada, Canada. The chickadee makes the namesake chickadee-dee-dee call. In the northeast, you'll likely have black-capped chickadees, while in the southeast, you'll have Carolina chickadees. They both look very similar to each other. Another call made by chickadees called the springtime call sounds similar to cheeseburger. The blue jay call sounds like J J J or jeer jeer jeer. The small and adorable downy woodpecker makes a whinny call along with a short pick call. The similar looking hairy woodpecker, which is larger overall and also has a longer bill, makes a rattle call as well as a single note peak call, which is sharper and slightly lower pitched compared to the pick of the downy. The red bellied woodpecker, which doesn't have much of a red belly, makes a series of chur or cha notes, as well as a rolling chur call that is reminiscent of science fiction laser fire. (laughs) 
The American goldfinch makes twittering and warbling noises, as well as an ascending T-E vocalization. The white-breasted nuthatch makes a repeated wah-wah-wah-wah call. The northern mockingbird is a mimic and will sing the songs of other birds or make man-made noises and normally repeats each phrase two to six times before moving on to the next one. The Carolina wren makes a loud tea kettle, tea kettle, tea kettle noise. The yellow rumped warbler song is a trill that has two parts, a two 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 section and a two 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 section at the end. The ruby crowned kinglet song starts with some light high notes, then accelerates into a musical twittering and ends with a few loud notes. The great horned owl makes an iconic hooting call. <laughs> the tufted titmouse vocalization sounds similar to Peter, 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 and they also make noises similar to chickadees that sound lower in pitch. The red-breasted nuthatch makes a yank, yank, yank vocalization. The American crow makes signature cawing noises. The cedar waxwing makes high-pitched trills along with high-pitched whistles. The following five species are eruptive, meaning they may move south in greater numbers during the winter, depending on food availability from year to year. The common red pole makes multiple vocalizations, with one common one being a rising whistle. The evening grosbeak does not have a true song, but makes sweet chirping noises that may sound similar to the house sparrow call. The pine siskin makes buzzy and wheezy call notes, including a loud zreet that ascends in pitch. The red crossbill makes a jip jip call that can sometimes be heard as individuals fly overhead. The purple finch makes a melodic, rich, warbling song, but they have many different vocalizations as well. Which of these birds have you heard before? Let us know in the comments below, and make sure to check out our other song and call videos for more information. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding. Yeah.